Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, I forgot what we did, so let's go ahead and talk to the hint guy. The strip club? Yeah, Mr. Hitman, I got you. I know what's up. Okay, yeah, not the strip club, the stoic club. Okay. Yeah, last time we explored all of um, Summers as well as Toto, the nearby little village. But in order to get to the Stoic Club, we actually have to call it. So we got the number last time, so let's give it a call. This is the only free telephone in the entire town, by the way. Sure. Okay. I've never had to make a reservation at any strip club that I've ever been to, gay or straight. Whoa! Finally, we get some enemies here in Summers. There's actually quite a bit of enemies in here. This is the crazed sign. And if you look at it, like, it's saying hello to you, but it's also saying Ohio. Because, you know, America, Eagle Land, all that kind of good stuff. Even though we're actually not in America right now. We're in Foggy Land. You're up. Yikes. Well, that's no good. Not the biggest deal about being paralyzed, but eh, something different. I don't think that I've ever actually shown you being paralyzed. Look at Paula. She, like, slides along as if she's, like, ice skating or something. It's just kind of different. I think that I can cure that with one of Ness's PSIs. Let's just find out. Let's see. Paralysis. Wait. Are you for real? A healing beta isn't going to heal it? Let me just try it, just to see. I feel like the game is wrong. Really? Seriously? Well then, Paula... You're gonna be paralyzed for quite a bit of time, because I'm not dealing with you right yet. What? <laughs> so, I consider myself a relatively intelligent man. And I consider this guy, who, who like talks like that mumbo-jumbo stuff, to be, I don't know, like, a pseudo-intellectual. Somebody who, like, feels like they're really, really, really smart, but... They're just, like, trying to prove themselves, if you know what I mean. And it just, to me, they just seem like a poser. They just seem fake. This is not a strip club. Like, at all, in any sense of the word. What am I playing? Xeno Gears with the id and the superego and the ego? Thanks, Freud. I'd be sleeping too if I was in here. Uh, I wanted to talk to the rock, not you. Leave me alone. Uh. No, I don't. High prices just for water? No kidding. I don't want water, I'm good. I would like some magic cake though. Some people in Toto were talking about that. Well, who's that? Over by the entrance, the one woman. Oh, shut up. I know, seriously. Blah, 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 blah. God. That's the show? I wanted to see some hot girls! Well, not really, but okay. Whatever. It's better than a stone. My God, I'd rather see hot girls on a freaking rock. Ugh. Wait, I thought you were going to make me some magic cake. Uh-huh. That's right. Magic cake. Sure. I would love to eat your cake by the ocean. No, that's... that's okay. <laughs> oh! Okay. It literally is cake by the ocean. Go away! Paula was still paralyzed during that battle, so I went back to the hospital and I talked to the healer and I healed her. I just didn't want to deal with it any longer and I wanted to do it off screen anyway. But here is the woman to make her magical cake. What about some magic brownies? I like those. I've had those before. Leftover materials? Wait, what? This is a magic cake. I approve. We are high as a kite. Oh, this is all just a dream then. What is it? Oh. 
What in the world? Delam in the Far East. We have now left Foggyland, and we are in Shomo, which is essentially Asia of the um, of the Earthbound world. The Palace of Pooh. <laughs> the Crown Prince. Okay. I'll try not to make as many poo jokes because I find them infantile myself, but okay. Oh. The Palace of Empty, or the Place of Emptiness. Okay. And we get awesome Delon music. I love the music here. I wish that you got to hear it more often, honestly. Hey there. Oh. Okay. Let's actually take a look at Pooh. He comes with a tiny ruby. Oh, that's nice. And a bottle of water. The bottle of waters that we previously had have com complete crap because they restore one PP point. But Pooh's PP is huge, so he gets restored 10 PP points. Go Pooh. Also, he is level 15, um, and he does have access to PSI. He has access to PSI Freeze and Thunder, not Fire. Fire is Paula's alone. But he also has access to healing PSI as well, and the shielding PSIs. Not um, PSI shields, but the physical PSI shields. So he is essentially the red mage of the group, able to deal with offensive magic, defensive magic, healing, and he's not bad as a physical fighter either. Although, he does not come with any equipment whatsoever, which is kind of a double-edged sword. Um, not being able to equip anything makes him weaker, obviously, than the rest of the party. However, it gives him more inventory space, and inventory space is a paramount in this game. So, that's actually kind of nice. Anyway, let's look around. Whoa! A brain stone! Complete crap. A couple life noodles. Awesome. And a brain food lunch. So I alluded to this a little bit earlier that, um, oh, let's actually call this and then I'll talk about that. <laughs> no, it's not Ness. Yeah, I suppose so. I like how we're literally calling home with this guy's hair. Either that or he literally has a telephone stuck to his head. I mean, like, I don't really know what's going on here, but it's just a way to save and it's just ridiculous. And we still call our dad. Unlike when if we were with Jeff alone, Jeff called um, Maxwell Labs. But now we're calling our dad. It actually kind of looks like Pooh. It looks like Pooh with just like a five o'clock shadow. Like it looks just like him. So as I was talking about earlier, Pooh works just a little bit differently from the rest of your characters insofar of items. Being from a foreign country, Pooh has a radically different taste for foods than the rest of your party members, um, and the vast majority of things like hamburgers and french fries and croissants and things like that that we've been getting will only restore 6 HP. They barely restore anything for Pooh. You have to use Tibetanese, Bhutanese, Nepalese food for him? Whatever this, whatever the equivalent of uh, the food is here. Things such as brain food lunch, which would normally restore um, 300 HP and 100, or 300 HP and 50 PP for a normal party member will restore double for Pooh. Um, it's going to restore 600 HP and 100 PP for him. Let's look at this brain stone. It enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. Basically, it's like, you know, like the mad ducks that will spin a top around and then make you lose concentration so you can't use your PSI? If you have this, it makes you immune to that. But who really cares? Like, that's just, it's, it's just dumb. It's not a, it's, it's not worth the item slot. Oh, no kidding. Play with you? Ooh. Yeah, Pooh is a prince and he is a lady killer. Everybody loves him. Oh, thanks. Look around the house and steal from you. Whoa! Great, another bottle of water. That's just fantastic. Um, sure.
Patty me. And then they play patty cake. I love it because they're just little kids. Oh. Do you want to train me? Uh. Oh. I love the smell of garlic. I am a huge fan. But, uh, my parents are from New York, and, you know, they made Italian food every single frickin' day of the week. Um, if it wasn't Italian, it was Chinese takeout, so <laughs> I am- I, I cook Italian food all the time, too. Prince Pooh is into moo training. Okay, is Prince Pooh training to be a cow? I don't think it works that way. Ooh, here we have a jar of deli sauce. Oh, let's talk about this as well. The jar of deli sauce is actually a condiment, but it tastes good with any kind of food, doubling the healing um, of any food whatsoever. However, whenever you get a chance to actually buy it, it's incredibly expensive. Every other condiment is like $2. This is $300. It's completely not worth it. However, I am going to hold on to it and use it later. I'm going to just stick it in Descargo Express for right now. Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't have time for no girls. Let's just say no. Oh, good. I guess he's just growing up. Who is a little bit older than the other characters as well? Oh, thanks. I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. How have you never seen him before? This place is tiny. Just what is... P what kind of man are you? What is PP? We serve water, rice, gruel? Ooh. So yeah, they you can buy stuff here. Um, things like brain food lunch that we weren't able to purchase before. The jars of jelly sauce. The bowl of rice gruel uh, will restore 200 HP to Poo. It is a uniquely healing item for Poo. So yeah. But at this point in the game, now that we have two healers... Yeah, spoiler alert, who's gonna join up with Ness and the crew? We'll have, you know, two people able to heal, so healing items just aren't that important. We accept dollars. Okay. What in the world is this? Statues of rabbits blocked in your way. That is strange to say the... Am I stuck? Can I... Okay, thank God, my God. I like Delong. It's interesting. I like the music. And I like being on pink clouds. It reminds me of Magic Camp from the very first game. Oh well. Hey there. Oh, it's not Moo training, it's Moo training. Like the lost continent that doesn't exist, but whatever. Or that horrible dungeon in Illusion of Gaia. Oh good lord, that place sucked. Oh, thanks. Man. The men and the women are after me. Kind of like in real life. That, is, that, that's, that actually kind of pisses me off. If I go to gay bars and like women hit on me like that, I'm just, go away. I gotta deal with that enough if I'm just going out shopping. Like, I don't want to deal with that at a gay bar too. Like, leave me alone, man. Hello? Oh, I don't think so. Really? Believe in yourself and be strong. If you get up, you have to go all the way back to your master, and then that is the key for restarting this. You can't just enter a house and exit or whatever. You have to sit here. And the first time playing this, I kind of figured it out myself because I had played Final Fantasy IV where you have to beat yourself up and everything and I was used to it, but this... Creepy. The spirit of your ancient lineage. Break my legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? If you say no... Actually, let's just make a save right here. No, I do not accept this. You get kicked out. And you have to go back and talk to your master and start the whole thing over again, including that annoying person who tells you to stop. So, uh, bye-bye. 
I do accept this. Oh! The first time I did this, though, I was scared. I was scared. I didn't want to die. Tear my arms off. Feed them to the crows. Yes, I, I accept this. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? I have no choice. And now, the music stops. And you can't actually hear him. So, we have parentheses to designate that he's speaking to into your mind using telepathy. No legs, no arms, no sound. By floating words through the air, I can ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Live in eternal darkness? Steal your sight? Oh my god! And now we can't even see him. No, I can't do anything. I am. Oh. I guess that completes my training. Like, this is creepy. For, like, a kid's game? Like, what in the world? I am shocked that that got by censors of Nintendo, considering you know how Nintendo is, of all things. I mean, they could have changed that around, or they could have just completely gotten that scene and taken it out of, um, of the game in its entirety. But they left it in, and good for them. But this was also released before the, what is it, the ESRB rating system? I don't think that that came in until, like, Mortal Kombat and Doom and games like that really came to the forefront. I guess that would be, like, 97-ish, right around when the PlayStation came out. Which one's my master? Is it you? No. Okay. Go away. It's you. Oh. So, what do I do now? A message from Eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones that can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. And Ness is the leader of the four, and one of the boys is me, Prince Pooh! Oh. Oh. And just like in Dragon Quest IV, we gained some levels! Whoa! We actually gained some good levels, too. Man, that's nice! Who you need to t teach Jeff a thing or two about gaining a decent level. Ooh, got Teleport Alpha. Didn't even need to go to that crap-ass monkey cave either. Aw, oh, so much for some good level ups. Ooh, but we also get Teleport Beta. So, whereas all the other magics and everything that Pooh has had has been kind of knockoffs of Ness's and Paula's, he does get a little tiny bit of his own unique stuff. Well, hello, Pooh. And with that, we have more party members. Great. And one interesting thing about Pooh joining you is that he's a hot, attractive guy, and he's a prince, and some people will now speak to him and change their dialogue. Like this whore, this nasty-ass skank whore that wants to, like, she's obviously a pedophile, too. She has massive issues. That nasty-ass skank, ugh. But also, this skanky whore, too. Yes, I do. He's a kid. What is wrong with you? Man, these people are crazy, and you, bitch, you got some splaining to do. Magic tarts? Oh. A magic tart is pretty expensive, but it restores 20 psychic points. But here's the deal. Like, we already have magic caramels, and Pooh can restore his 
PP through the use of water, so I just don't see any need to buy those, and I have plenty of caramels laying around and all that kind of stuff anyway. But yeah, now we have poo, so what do we do? Find out next time on Let's Play Earthbound. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.